All right, guys, Ryan A. Raymond here tonight. And tonight I want to talk to you about one of my favorite tools for merch by Amazon, Pretty Merch. And most of you are familiar with Pretty Merch and have the free version. But tonight I want to talk to you about should you upgrade to the pro version and what do you get for it? So let's take a dive into it and find out. So I'm going to transition over here to my dashboard. This is what you'd see if you don't have Pretty Merch. You see your... Uh, shirts down there on the bottom you see your uh sales for the week and your royalties and if you want to know how many you've sold all time and look them up you got to go in the analyze tab and search 30, 90 days at a time compile spreadsheets and make sure you have all of them and then you know uh sort them all to make sure you didn't do any duplicates and kind of figure it all out yourself um, you could write tools to do this. You could build spreadsheets that do this for you. There's plenty of free options to do this, but for free, you can get Pretty Merch. And now, Pretty Merch, I have a link to Pretty Merch Pro in the uh, description of this video. But Pretty Merch is basically it does exactly this. You guys have seen me use this in my uh, videos quite a bit. Um, now I have Pretty Merch Pro installed, so. What you get with Pretty Merch is you get a dashboard, you get, you know, kind of a little pop-up menu here on looking at your sales, but I don't think it breaks it down for you uh, into top colors, top products, top fit types, and all that. So it kind of restricts it. It just kind of gives you a nice, pretty view. So, hey, Diana, how are you? Uh, the Pop Socket Queen is in the chat. So check out Diana on um, uh, Merch Mornings uh, on iTunes. So she's got an awesome podcast going about pop sockets. All right, back to pretty much. Um, so you can see here, I just crossed 3,003 sales today. So I just crossed, made my 3,000th sale today. So that's a victory. And we hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. So that's awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. All right, back to pretty much. What this does is it kind of gives you an easy trend of what's happening. But so let's say you sold something today or let me just kind of pop open my last seven days here and I can look through and see if there's anything that's sold at a lower price that I'm going to want to boost the price on. Um, so here was a tank top that sold. I have no idea which one I just clicked on, but I just clicked that little edit button all to my sales data. I come right in here into my tank top. Oh, it was a Betsy Ross flag shirt. So the tank top sold and I had it priced at just 1585. So now I want to raise the price to $19.85 and get that royalty up to uh, $3.49. My son's really excited in the background too. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, and my daughter there too. So you can see here, I had these ones already bumped up in price, but I had the tank top lower. And you know what? I could even bump this guy up right there. And did I miss any others that need a bump? $22.99. They're at $3. Some of these haven't sold yet. So I'm going to leave them where they're at. And I think I'm good. So instead of having to go through, look on the analyze page, then go to the manage tab and search for it, I was able to just click the button and bam, I was right there into uh, editing it. Um, other great features here that are uh, that you need to consider, you can look at sort of my top royalties, top units, and this is looking at the last 30 days on these tabs. So my best unit is my black pop socket. I've discussed that before. I've had 75 sales for $1.50 in royalties. Still haven't gotten past the one star review. So it's just been chugging along at about two or three sales a day at one say at one star. When it had zero stars, it was pulling almost 20 a day. And it, it, if someone wants a black pop socket, it's a great pop socket, I assure you. Okay, anyway, back out of that promotion there. Um, the analytics tab is not available in the standard pretty merch version. So I can look at my all-time sales or let's just say I want to look at this last 90 days. I really just want to look at what's been selling now because all year long isn't always the greatest view to find out what's been going on. So in the last 90 days, you can see it's kind of a merch by Amazon is a bit of a roller coaster, guys. You can have good days. You can have bad days. You know, see back here, I had a four day, then I had a four day and I'm at four again, followed by 18. So it's kind of all over the place but this gives me a much better view of how my sales are going. Now I can come in here, it pops up nice and clean. I've had 1,598 sales. This information you can get right on your normal analytics dashboard. But what you don't get is your average sales per day of 18. 
my average royalties per day of $30.67. My average sales per month for the last 90 days is $533 with average royalties of $920.25. But I can get, now I get into what products sold. So pop sockets were number one. I sold more pop sockets in the last 90 days than anything else that accounted for 729 of my sales. 625 standard t-shirts. Here, let me zoom this in for you guys so you can maybe see. Now this is something important to know. In the last 90 days, 274 unique products sold. Only 274. That's an important number to know that of my 4,000 live, I only made sales with 6.9% of them. Merch is a numbers game, guys. The more you have up and the more you um, check out, the, the more you upload, the more chance you have to make a sale. But the more you dive back into what's making your sales over the last few months, that becomes how you grow. And if you can analyze that data, you can retarget what is selling and you can make adjustments on the fly. All right, so some other information that I would be hard to find out without Pretty Merch is that of my t-shirts sold, 307 of them were black, 98 were dark heather, uh, 79 were royal blue, uh, 70 were heather blue, and 67 were navy. Uh, 41 were heather gray, and so on and so forth here, guys. So that's some really good information to know when I'm choosing colors, what are gonna be the most popular colors to choose. Um, so once again, guys, like I said, this is using Pretty Merch Pro. The link to upgrade is in the description. And if you guys didn't know, this week, just this week, so if you guys are watching this right now live, let me dump the link in there quick. Um, that's not the one I wanted. Let me grab it out of here quick. Add it in my edit tab. I'm gonna dump this in the chat for everyone because Pretty Merch has a sale where the year subscription is now just, um, let me pull open the pack. I'll just pop this open here. You guys will jump on Gumroad and right here, for Prime Week only, you can pay $9.99 a month, or for today only, or for this week only, ends next Sunday, July 21st, you get it for 51% off if you sign up. So if you do use my link, I do appreciate it. I do get a small commission for sales for recommending Pretty Merch. It is one of my favorite tools, so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. This week, this sale ends this Sunday, so if you're catching this in the first few days of this video uploading, Get it now, otherwise there will be sales throughout the year. Choose your plan and go with it. All right, back to what else Pretty Merch gives me here. So I can look at all the markets. I can do, I can easily sort by what shirt, what product generated the most royalties for me. Uh, I will say that guaranteed right there is my uh, 4th of July shirt that did really well. Um, and then we got another, what do we got here? This is uh, Betsy Ross shirt. And then we got, I'm just kind of looking, uh, a dog rescue niche there. So there's there's a little gold right there. Uh, just kind of toss that out. So I didn't show you guys all the titles. Someone's probably zooming in there because the hover over. But uh, hey, what's going on, James? How you doing? Um, so yeah, guys, that's my favorite tool. Pretty Merch, it gives you such a powerful analysis of how your sales are going so you can learn to sell more shirts. If you guys are struggling and not quite sure um, if you think this is worth it yet or not, try looking at your first 30, um, let's say you're someone who's tier 25, you're sitting on tier 25, you probably don't need this yet. You probably don't need to upgrade to pro. The free version though, you can just go install the Chrome extension and get the free version. And then when you're ready, I would recommend upgrading but at least go get the free version so you can at least start understanding what's happening with your account. So I did want to talk about one other thing, guys. Um, the Area 51 shirts have been selling um, for a lot of people. I haven't sold any, and there's been a lot of talk about the trademark. So I know many people have uploaded. Some people have opted not to. I have a few up, um, but if we go to the... Uh, ESS here. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on this for the trademark search. I didn't do this in my last video and I should have. This would have been the responsible thing to do here. But you come in here and you search the trademark database, you get the basic word mark search, and you search area 51. All right. Oh, I wanted to search for live only. And there we go. So let me pull open right there on the computer. 
All right, so area 51, I believe it is this one right here is the, that is the radios. This one here. So this one is a registered trademark for area 51. So with this said, I am probably going to take down my shirts, but some information and someone might be able to tell me better in the uh, um, chat or someone who knows better. But this company was dissolved in 2013. If you search for Area 51 Capital LLC, the owners of this trademark, they were um, completely dissolved in 2013. All the state filed paperwork shows that they were dissolved. I tried looking up the uh, owner's information, couldn't quite find a way to contact them to see if it's something that they're still enforcing or not. But everyone has been saying there is a trademark out there for Area 51 shirts, and there is. And it doesn't appear to be being enforced but there is a trademark, so you need to make the right choice for your account, guys. I'm not going to tell anyone how to run their account, but I'm probably leaning on the side of if these two guys who own this trademark decide they want to go, you know, let everyone sell their stuff over the next couple months and then try and collect some money from lawsuits, that could be an option for them. However, like I said, Area 51 Capital LLC, when you guys look it up, is a dissolved company as of 2013. So... I've been getting a lot of questions about the Area 51 stuff, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I've looked up and what I've found. So I'm going to cut it short here tonight, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.